Hello, welcome to another series uh, from Venn Consultants. My name is Vital Yono, and today I'm making a video <coughs> following up the um, <coughs> console, the um, Couch database console. Uh, pretty much just a little um, overview on how, how to connect to the um, console, the data you have in the console using uh, a no, Q, uh, no QL, uh, like a SQL type um, language uh, to query the um, data you have in your couch database. The first thing I want to do is um, open the um, couch, cons couch uh, database console. Uh, so this is the console. Let me go ahead and sign out of whatever I already have. So if you remember from our previous um, from our previous video, I made um, pretty much give you an overview of the console, and um, we'll log in again is the administrator as username and the pers password. I'm going to go ahead and go enter password. So here I'm in the um, console. I just want to show you, uh, for example, the beer sample uh, data bucket. Um, just an overview of the, some of the um, documents we have in here. Um, just, just, just an overview of it. But this is not where I'm getting to. What I actually want to show is how to connect to this using an interface. Um, known as the, the, to query the data in this um, data bucket. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, um, open the command line uh, that's going to the um, start, enter the CMD, and it open the um, command line. Um, interface here. Um, what you want to do, first thing you want to do is change the directory from this um, user directory to the directory where you actually downloaded the um, the cloud-based query um, interface. So I'm going to change to the directory I'm in that directory. Next thing I want to do is um, actually connect to this uh, bucket that was downloaded, the um, college database bucket. And one of the things you need to know in order to connect to this is the server. This server name, 127.0.0.1, is usually the default server, name, default server name when you download the college database. So, so you use a syntax like this. Um, CBQ engine dash uh, couch base HTTP. And if you remember, one two seven dot zero dot one dot zero dot one is the server name, which is exactly this, and then eight zero nine one. So I'm just going to, since I already use this exact syn syntax to connect to the uh, database. I'm just going to type that. You can either type it in a copy and paste. I, really, I usually prefer putting my syntax um, in a notepad and just copy and paste it in here. So hit the enter and I'm connected. So you should get a message like this. Um, which tells you that you're connected. So the UI will look something like this, and that is that is the. I just type this in your browser, localhost 8093 slash tutorial. You can actually connect. You can actually use a use the command line to connect to a query um, engine in a similar way, but I'm just going to do it this way for now. 
um, so I'm connected. If you remember, we have um, this data bucket, beer sample. So let me let me use uh, my first example will be um, something like it's kind of like SQL. So let's say I select all from beer sample, which is a day. So you're selecting all from data bucket, just like in the SQL where you're selecting from a table. You're selecting all from the beer sample um, bucket. So they see all this document. So I'll have something like this when I run. It's running now. And you can see all, all the data that you have in that bucket. It's going to be in this format. It's looking like this. You may not be able to make it make sense, much sense out of it, but it's just a simple query. Let's say in um, one of our in our in our data buckets, one of our documents. Let's say we we'll click on this first one and say we want to query this entire data bucket and search for every information we have about any um, brewery that has this name. So we have the name of the brewery. So this bucket pretty much has name of brewery, city, state. Just we want to get every information for any data that has this attribute name and the name is 21st century brewery. Just go in here. So you select from all the data buckets, uh, you know, select everything from the beer sample database for this beer sample data bucket where the name is 21st I mean, in Brewery Cafe. So just make sure 21st I mean, just to be sure I'm just gonna copy this text right here. Okay. Uh, copy this text just replace it just to be, just to be sure I'm getting the right text. Paste that. and run. So for the result set, you can see we have, uh, we have an address, 563 2nd Street. Uh, the address is not in here, it's probably in one of the other, uh, let's see if we have an address in here. No address in here. So it picked different attributes from different um, documents. One of them has address in them with name. Is there an address in here? Uh, nope. can go on there's so many documents in here I can go on and on and on and you know look for this document and I may not be able to find it because there's so many documents I have to click on every single document to find an address um, attribute anyway so let's just make sure we have um, the correct data. Let's look for some other attribute like city. Is there a city in here? San Francisco. San Francisco is here. This is the in the Couch Deep database console. So it has San Francisco. I'm just verifying pretty much. Um, that uh, that this this data is the correct data. Um, so the website, see this? It's actually in this one. So the website is here. The name, 21st Amendment, Brewery Cafe. Uh, phone number, is it in this 
phone oh yep phone number is in this so probably oh the this there goes the address the address is 563 second street yep here so if we want to check for type brewery everything in the beer sample where the type attribute is brewery. I hope I'm spelling that right. Uh, yep. If I run this query, we have a whole everything that has every file. I guess they are every company in here is a brewery. So it's gonna pull up everything. So let's look for something. Uh something more distinct. Okay. Website is no no no. Uh, Alright, let's say we're looking for every brewery in California. Assuming this bucket has um all the breweries in California that were examined in the survey. Um Uh, where states in the state of California? Okay, we have a whole bunch too in California, but you get the gist. Um, you can you can use the syntax to go further, and actually, this website shows you a tutorial of how of the different different ways you can analyze and look at data in in your. Um, couch uh, bucket in your couch uh, database console um, hope this helps and um, in the next video I'll be working more or I'll go into details on the um, how to use this um, the n1 ql language for querying uh, data in your couch database Thank you for watching, and I look for, and uh, I look forward to you watching um, the next video and your reviews. Thank you.